Hello everyone, my name is Shireen and welcome to Fall of Porcupine Last Days of Summer. This is a brand new indie game that I randomly found on a cozy channel and it's all about the healthcare system. So uh, yeah, let's just see what happens basically. Hi out there. Hope you're well, and I'm glad to have you back. Back? Today I want to update you on what's going on in Porcupine. Again, I was on the road for this week. I ran into old familiar faces. Among other things, I stopped by Gilbert's this weekend and sampled Guilina's <laughs> latest creation, Wild Gooseberry Beer. Highly recommended for fans of fruity drinks. It's more for holidays though, but feel free to give it a try. Okay. I love this time of year and you can probably guess why. The hibernation festival is right around the corner. The preparations have already begun and I talked to the organizer. Some popular bands will be on the bill and local arts will be represented as well. Plus, of course, there's the big stew contest again. I remember last year, Chloe Colbert took first place with her sage soup. Bring your biggest spoon and try your way through. There's a lot of highlights again this year. Take a few days off and stop by. Unfortunately, this is a time of year when the days are getting short again. Today, I had to put on a sweater for the first time. Crazy. Yesterday, it felt like summer after all. But I guess that's how it is with the seasons. You get used to the sun too quickly. So true, especially in England. Bloody hell. <laughs> Excellent. A good, a good day always starts with being leashed. <laughs> Without Dr. Korokowski busting your chops. Or a busted coffee machine that doesn't even warm. Get warm. Anyways, I gotta run. Who are you? You late too? Nope, I'm just here to show you how dialogue's working for <laughs> Porcupine. I see, thanks a lot. No problem. Cool, I should mention as well that this is a demo version of this game. It doesn't officially have a release date yet, but I'll have all the information and links to download this demo in the description down below. All right, so let's see what we got. So X is to talk. Oh, Y is to open our phone. Um, sent Ursula's tasks and quit game. Find a way through the construction site. Okay. No task yet. Okay. Oh, this is beautiful. It looks like a painting, man. It's crazy. Oh, okay. So I have to jump. A is jump. Okay, nice. I love these kind of tutorials where it's just like simple. It tells you what to do. Very straightforward. Oh, okay. Nice haptics as well. Ooh. Oh, get a double jump for a minute. I have to do all this just to get to a hospital, dude. <laughs> wow. Oh. Oh, press and hold to glide. Oh yeah, cool. It's not a double jump; it's a glide instead. Ah. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. Oh, someone there? Rudolph, you hear someone do? 
what you say? <laughs> Guess let it's beer yesterday and that already expired. Huh? Make a pot of coffee. I got a hangover. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright. Is that a bus stop? Yeah, another bus stop. That stop must probably... That stop most probably won't see any buses today. You got the day off, bus stop, enjoy your day. <laughs> mm -hmm. St. Ursula Hospital. You how we heal. Hmm. <laughs> that slogan ain't half bad. <laughs> right, can I look at that statue? Or... Yeah, I can. Who was that hat wearing giant? Don't know. I love the autumn as well, it's my favourite season, apart from springtime. Okay, here we are, the hospital. My screen just glitched, but anyway, let's carry on. <laughs> Vending machine? Wait a moment. Ooh! Are those chalk dogs? The last time I ate those, I was a kid. Chalk dogs. Bathroom. Oh, receptionist. Hello! Good morning, Ingrid. You've been working here two weeks and already you're late. That's not gonna cut it, kid. <clears throat> yes, nice to see you too. <laughs> Save yourself the trouble. Bad day? Bad, my copper machine is full of mold. Ooh. And that snack machine ate all my change. Uh quite sassy what's up with the snack machine. A new did something happen last night. Uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I get the feeling the city is only tearing up the roads so it can rebuild again, not them afterwards. Yeah. And then they talk about fiber optics. Fiber optics, who needs that? Um, okay. Can I talk to you more, or is that it? Uh... <laughs> but I'm weak. So weak. I can barely talk. Need... Choco... Dogs? Okay, got it. Oh, he's just... Okay, wow. Hmm. Suspicious. Okay. Let's get out here first to see what's up. Okay, everything. Okay, cool. The elevator is broken again. It often bugs me that I don't own a car, but at least I've got toned legs now. <laughs> okay. I love the music in this game. It's so relaxing. Or a pretty tense um, atmosphere, obviously. Painkillers, towels, disinfectant, bandages. Just a regular hospital shelf. Or a home hypochondriac shopping list. <laughs> oh, so true. So true. Oh, okay. You got upstairs? Yeah. Another floor. How many floors does he have? Wow. I don't know what floor we're supposed to be on, but I'm assuming it'll tell us when we get there. Wow. I actually don't know what we work as. Obviously we're a nurse or a doctor, but I have no idea what our job actually is in this hospital. Fine. Okay, that's the top one. <coughs> the door's locked. Really? I <laughs> came all the way up there. Are you gonna tell me the door's locked? Oh, bro. It's our second internal medicine ward and intensive care unit. Can I go in there? Not yet, okay. There are five floors. Ah, okay, we're on the third floor. Maybe. Okay, third floor. Can we go into the patient's room? 
Oh, we can. Oh, no one's in here. Oh, there's someone in here. Oh, you can't talk to them, though. Okay. Oh, break room. I haven't set foot in this room once. Why is there a break room after all? At all, if there are hardly any breaks. <laughs> True. It's sad for the room to not be in use at all. Wow. Storage room for our ward. Most of the time it's empty. <coughs> That's why we get the drugs and materials from the main storage room on the floor. What is wrong with my throat? <coughs> Is it this one or the other one? There's two. Whoa, X-ray. Is that a cow? I can't interact with him though. Ah, here we go. I'm glad you made it before it got dark. Sorry about that, Dr. Krokoski. Oh. oh my gosh, I asked the patient not to die until you arrived. They might not be so generous next time. I'll be more punctual in the future. Not more punctual, just punctual. Just punctual. Well, alright, let's start the rounds. Time waits for no one. We'll start with room 301. Okay, cool. No task here, okay. Oh, sorry, one more button. This is where our rosters are posted. And the cleaning schedule. And someone apparently wants to sell a bike? I might take a look at the bike. <laughs> okay, so 301, right? This is Mr. Kissinger. He was admitted last night with a high fever. He's also suffering from a severe pain on the right side of his body and an acute rash. How are we feeling today, Mr. Kissinger? Good so far, Dr. Korowski. I had a rough night and I'm hungry. Well, that sounds perfect. I would have been worried if you slept well here. Mia? Yes. What do you think? What do I think? Your diagnosis? I see, yes, yeah, sure. I... I can't figure it out. You can't figure it out? Sorry about that. Don't apologise to me, apologise to the patient. You really need to work on yourself, Mia. I know. Mr Kissinger is suffering from herpes... zoster? A very pronounced case of shingles. Oh, nothing serious, but we will keep him under observation another day or two. Let's not waste any more time. Get well soon, Mr. Kissinger. Thanks. Ah. We still have two more patients to visit in room 302. Let's go. The day is already over, almost over. Wow. Apparently, um, shingles is very painful, actually. Um, so it's not <laughs> as <laughs> just, oh yeah, simple as that. But I think people usually get creams for it, I'm not sure, but yeah, apparently shingles is very painful. You get a really painful rash. 302, here we go. Okay. Good morning, Mrs. Kasparis. Kasparis? Good morning. Oh, the painkiller's working. Yes, thank God, that was one hell of a pain. Mrs. Kasparis came to us yesterday evening with superior pain in her lower abdomen. She has vomited a few times. Urinating is also difficult. It's your turn now, Finley. Being late doesn't mean you can't shirk work. You can shirk work. So, go on. Hmm. 
maybe like a, a stone or something or like a I don't know anything else to say have you gone as silent as a, <laughs> have you have you gone as silent as a church mouse urinal stones oh I was, <laughs> I was gonna say kidney stones but then that, is, that would be like high up right but it does sound like stones because it usually hurts when you pee if you have stones urinal stones the patient has urinal stones Ooh. you should have read about them enough times in your textbooks Mrs. Cas Paris, <laughs> I wish you a quick recovery. Call the nursing staff if you need anything. <clears throat> wow. Okay. Follow me. Last patient, last chance. Wow. That, yeah, that hurts. Definitely hurts. I think some men compare that to childbirth. Apparently, that's how painful it can be. Good morning, Miss Mrs. Amit. How are you today? Just a moment. What's this? Your dressing is soaking wet. When was the last time it was changed? Yesterday, I think. Yesterday at midday. Midday? Yesterday? Finley, change the dressing now. Treatment. Take care of your patients. Press and hold the show buttons. Do not press other buttons or more buttons than displayed. Try to react as fast as possible. Oh gosh, okay. I'll hold it. Uh. How? How am I supposed to do all this at the same time? Bro! Oh, that was hard! <laughs> Oh wow, it's hard. Especially when the um, joysticks are different um, heights. Who was on duty yesterday? I, me, I was thinking I was going to change it. Oh my gosh. The storage room here was empty. I, I was going to the basement to get a new dressing. And then you forgot about it. Is that what you're trying to tell me? I don't tolerate such sloppiness on this ward. I'm just going to call him Doctor, to be honest. <laughs> doctor, it was probably just an oversight. Finley, you stay out of this. Get a grip, Mia. You're not going to get far for changing a simple dressing of flosses to you like that. Uh, oh, who's this? Doctor, let's not get so worked up. You know yourself how stressful it is here. You're also constantly understaffed in nursing. Huh. These two are new. They need to be to get warmed up first. That's no excuse. I don't want to see a mistake like that again. And what are you doing here anyway? This war storage room is empty again. Just do your job and take care of it. Damn. These rounds are over. Oh boy. Oh man. I do feel sorry for healthcare workers. Like, especially like I. Don't, I can't tell you know, talk about other countries but especially in England it's very um, clear that NHS NHS workers are they're understaffed they're underpaid they're constantly stressed out they don't get enough sleep you know and it's just they need a lot of help basically um, and it affects everything you know it's just not them it's the patients it's the whole system you know hey Carl it was great of you to stand up for me just now no problem why are you standing here? <laughs> I'm waiting for the damn elevator. It's broken. Again? Great. What are you up to? I have to go to the main storage room on the ground floor. You hear what doctor said? The word storage room is empty again. I gotta get supplies. Need help? I sure won't say no. Cool. No, but I could help you with carrying. Let's not waste any time then. We'll take the stairs unless they're broken out as well. <laughs> what can be broken about the stairs? Staircase. You have no idea, kid. Alright, cool, let's go. I don't think I need to use this phone, like it just tells me <laughs> what I'm already doing in the game, so. There's not like messages in there or anything, I don't think. Do I want to talk to you? Eh, probably not, but I'll try it. I expect more from you, Finley. If that's your best, then woe to this hospital. 
Uh, he's a sourpuss. Go away. <laughs> I understand. You're stressed out. You're understaffed. But you can't treat people like that, dude. It's not right. They're doing the best they can in the circumstances. Especially new people. Like, you can't treat new people like that, bro. Like, they're just trying to do their job. They're doing the best that they can. There we go. So it says first floor, right? Let's go down to the first floor. This is the chief of medicine's office and hospital administration. So that's not the first floor. Let's see, that's the ground floor. This stuff. Is this stuff that you need? Oh no, I remember the room. It was next to the break room, wasn't it? I think. Next to the rest, oh, I can't remember the break room is. <laughs> I'm getting lost. Okay, I remember we went somewhere, and I was like, Oh, that's the break room, and then he said, Oh, that's the storage room. Get to the first floor. What? Main story room in the ground floor. Huh? Now I'm getting confused. <laughs> First patient would be going for lunch now. The ones who are still able to walk at least. Hmm. Oh, is this it? This is our main storage room. Okay, cool. My second home. Chaotic at first glance, but I have my system. You have a system? Yes, I have plenty of systems. Let me get our stuff together. Finley, you better stay back, kid. Okay. Mm. Anything could be hiding in there. You think you're grabbing a cable, but in fact, it's a king cobra. Why don't we have any snake handling gloves then? We do. They're somewhere in the main storage room. Oh, typical. Seriously? No jokes. About king cobras. <laughs> okay, okay. No need to get hysterical. No jokes! Let's get this over with, kid. Agreed. Wow, that's a lot of stuff, yeah, I was about to say. The day will be over if we have to carry it all upstairs. Yes, and it'll also be the end of the day for my back. This hospital really wearing me out. Yeah. Who knows how many more years my body can take it. Why don't we ask the janitor to take a look at the elevator? Oh, Glendon? Glendower? Good luck with that. Don't you think he's... Don't you think he'll help us? Everything Gregor touches ends up even more broken than before. Come on, let's give it a try at least. Alright, but only because it's just one room farther. I'm saving myself every necessary step. After you. Okay, let's see. This one? Hello, Mr. Glendower. Who's this? Oh, the newbie. What is it? Could you fix the elevator for us? I don't have any spare parts. You usually do it with duct tape and a glue gun. What? That's why it keeps breaking down. I'd rather save myself the trouble. Duct tape? Listen, Greg Gregor, we need the elevator. And I need my cigarettes. I lost them somewhere, but where? No cigarettes? No help from me. Really? If I find your cigarettes for you, will you help us with the elevator? Hmm, maybe. 
Maybe says yes, you old grouch. <laughs> Say yes, you old grouch. Yes, yes, all right. I was on the front entrance parking lot this morning. I took the trash to the dumpsters at the back entrance. And I took a look at the Ingrid's coffee machine, but there's nothing more I can do for it. So my smokes must be there somewhere. I'm on it. I'm going back to our stuff. Don't want anything else getting stolen. Hmm. Okay. Can I help you? Oh no, okay, I have to find the cigarettes first. Okay, so let's go outside. So she did say the um, coffee machine was getting mouldy, right? Do you think it's because of that? It's mouldy because of cigarettes in there? Listen, trash can. I don't trust you. I've got my eyes on you. <laughs> Have you seen Greg's packet of smokes? His cigarettes? Someday I'll find him dead in his storeroom. <laughs> no, then. No. He stopped by here briefly this morning to look at the coffee machine. He still had his cigarettes then. He definitely asked if I wanted to have a smoke at the back entrance. He knows I don't smoke at work though. Very sensible. Okay. Where is the coffee machine? I haven't seen the coffee machine. Um, at the back entrance, right. Let's go check the back entrance. Is that a coffee machine? That's not the coffee machine. You can't go in there. Can we go out here? Yeah, we can. Okay. Okay, so this is the back entrance. No smoking. Okay, so it's near the dumpsters, right? Yeah. They really are secret. And they still look pretty good. The reddish brown sludge must have been on the pool. Okay, we got it. Nice. Done. Let's hit no tasks. Hmm, okay. Nice, we've got cigarettes. Ambulance. I think even the equipment at Alma Mater, Alma Mater was more modern than this. And even that could be described as antique. Well, as long as it's still running, you don't have to retire it yet. <laughs> I kind of like that old jalopy. I don't know what that means, but okay. Yep. Exactly. Alright, there we go. Let's give him his cigarettes back. Mr. Glendower, hello? Yes, Luby. Your cigarettes, I got them. They were by the dumpsters. Good stuff, kiddo. And you're really gonna fix the elevator now with duct tape? Well, you gotta work with what's available. I don't even ask them upstairs anymore. Management always promises they order new stuff, but nothing ever arrives. Maybe I'll give it a couple of good whacks. That usually helps too. Hopefully you'll get off my back when I'm done with it. No problem. Thanks. <laughs> I'm always surprised whenever anything works in this dump. I'm not promising anything, but I think we can use the elevator again now. Pure luxury. <laughs> Enjoy it while we can. It can be over soon. And when that time comes, try not to be in the elevator. AI. AI, I mean. <laughs> AI. <laughs> You're a great help, Finley. We could use people like you at this hospital. I'm glad I could help. Now get going. You should start taking care of your patients. Talk to Dust Doctor. She'll give you your assignments for today's shift. Will do. See you later. There ain't no way around that. Okay. I guess we should go back upstairs, right? 
Actually, wait, can we go in here? No. I don't really know where to go. Oh, hello. There you are, Finley. Where have you been hiding this time? Hiding? I was helping Carl carry the boxes to the storage room. They're pretty heavy. That's very kind of you, Finley. But let the nurses take care of that. You've done more than enough. I've assigned you three patients today. Look at your smartphone. Okay, my smartphone. We're testing digital patient records right now. You can download your patient information before your shift begins. Okay, got it. Okay, cool. Okay, now we're getting actual tasks. Okay, cool. New tasks available. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, so 301, 302. Uh, okay. I think I have to go up, don't I? Hey, Carl. Mrs. Kissinger, what's new? I'm asking you. I'm spending most of my time days lying most of my days lying in bed lately. Doing nothing. Looking out of the window. Did you know that today is the beginning of meteorological fall? Is that right? No, I didn't know that. We've never had so little rain in the summer as we've had this year. That's fine by me. side of my body hurts. Only the left? Yes, and I feel really exhausted. If it weren't for the pain, I could sleep all day. I'm very sorry about that, but you'll feel better soon. We'll keep you under observation for a little while longer. Let me take a look at your rash. Does that hurt? Just lying around is already pretty painful, you know? No, it's not that bad, I promise. again. How am I, how do I do that at the same time? Oh my gosh, wait. I, how do I, oh my god, I don't know how to do that at the same time, wait. That, that, uh, that? Oh my gosh, dude, that is hard. That is really hard. Let's see, okay. Alright, that's it. What do you think? That's a pretty nasty case of shingles. You need to keep an eye on your rash and treat it regularly. Your circulation seems fine now. Alright, your instruments are pretty cool cold. They always are, I'm afraid. There's nothing you can do about it. One of the great mysteries of the universe. Fascinating. Have a lovely day. Okay, let's go to 302. have got me flying high. I'm glad to hear it. Can I maybe have some more of them? Uh, well, unless it's absolutely necessary, then no. Oh, that's too bad. And how about on the table? <laughs> For later. Mrs. Amit. Alright. My family physician is more relaxed about that kind of thing than you are. Hmm. You won't need any more painkillers, I promise. 
I will take actual special care with your treatment. Alright, I'll take your word for it. Aww. Okay, here we go. How the hell? Oh my god, dude. I don't know. Down, left, down. A, B? Gosh. B, Y, L. Oh, I feel like I'm doing gymnastics with my fingers and <laughs> thumbs on this controller, boy. Oh, that's hard. But it's alright. Looking after people, that's the main thing. You see? Didn't hurt at all, did it? I don't know. I bet it'll be gone after dinner. You're the doctor. I'll check on your paint tomorrow, okay? Alright. Wow, you're high the kite, aren't you? <laughs> okay. P31. This way. Hello. I'm here. Are these rooms different? Oh. Good afternoon, Mrs. Ms. Dillwyn. My name is Finley, and I am your attending physician. Hello, doctor. My name is Cassia Dillwyn, and I'm your patient today. Here's to a good working relationship. I'll make a storybook patient. You'll see. Nausea, abdominal pain, and muscle cramps. I got it all. No spoilers, Mrs. Dillwyn. Let me try to do my job well. Alright, let's get on with it then. Hmm. Huh? Diagnosis. Find the correct symbol combination. A blue mark shows you that the right symbol is in the wrong position. A green mark shows you that the right symbol is in the correct position. Okay. In addition, the symbols will be highlighted green when they are in the correct position. A symbol will not be in the correct position combination more than one time. Find the correct combination with eight rounds. Okay. Press L to decide which symbol to use. Okay. So I did that picture, right? I don't really know what I'm doing. Eyes, bones, face. Is it heart? I don't know what. How am I supposed to know though? Like. How am I supposed to know? Decide which symbol to use. How do I know what I'm looking for, though? Like, oh, so the eye is right. Okay. Oh, nice. Uh, let's try face. No, it's not face. I can be bone then, right? There we go. Okay. I don't know what the combination means, but <laughs> okay, we'll take it. What do you think? I have a suspicion. We'll have to do more examinations. Someone will come by later to draw blood. And tomorrow we'll know more. Alright. You are an excellent patient. I recommend you to the staff. Thank you. See you tomorrow then. I'll be here. Oh, could you do me a favour? What can I do for you? If there's a blueberry pudding left over somewhere, I'll gladly take two tonight. <laughs> if I come across a blueberry pudding, it's all yours. Perfect. <laughs> cool. Oh. 
might have food poisoning or something, but I don't think you'd be being hospital for food poisoning, so depending on how bad it is, I guess. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> Should be diagnosing anyone. Okay, are we done? Okay, so we have to talk to doctor. Hello. Did you take care of all your patients? Yes, all taken care of. I don't know what to make of you yet. Your performance could be better. I don't want to demotivate you, but I have my eye on you. I want to see more from you tomorrow, understand? I don't want to disappoint you, Doctor. I'll show you what I'm made of. Yeah. Go home now. Okay. You work in... Oh, the late shift tomorrow. Then we'll see what you're made of. Have a nice evening. Okay, cool. <laughs> Well, she's definitely learnt from Kyle. Carl talking to her because um, she hasn't shouted at us <laughs> since. <laughs> so, but yeah, uh, this must be one of the most. It, well, it is one of the most stressful, like, um, less rewarding jobs where someone has to do it, kind of thing. You know. I wish all doctors were like Finley. Uh very understanding and empathetic. Unfortunately, not a lot of doctors are. Hey, Carl. Hey, already thinking about going home? Ready for the end of the day and ready for my bed. What? No, 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 no. Come down to Gilbert's with me and we'll have a drink together. One drink? One will soon become five. <laughs> Come on, don't be a potty pooper. All right, let's take Mia with us. She's had a rough day. Go ask her, I'll wait here. I've just seen Mia down here. She must be around here somewhere. Okay, cool. I think the phone should only tell you about like actual hospital tasks, like the patient tasks. It shouldn't like tell you like, go find this person kind of thing. Where is Mia? Mia, where are you? Are you outside? Oh, there you are. Look at the reflection in the puddles. Oh, that's so cool. That's really nice. Carl and I are heading out over to Gilbert's for a drink. Wanna join us? Mm. Mia? Hello, anybody there? Finley, leave me alone. I don't want to go. Okay. If you change your mind, you know where to find us. Have a nice evening, Mia. Oh, She needs a hug. That's what she needs. People are shouting at her all the time. She's just learning. In a very stressful job. A freshly tapped beer like this always puts my feet back on the ground. No matter how much my day sucked, this is my yoga. <laughs> I even took a yoga class once. Signed up for one especially at a gym out of town. It was pretty nice, but I only went a couple of times. It was a two-year contract, of course. But if you have the choice between a long ride on an old bus, in the heat, in the cold, in the rain, in the storms, or a fresh beer just around the corner, it's, a night <laughs> it's an easy decision, don't you think? Hmm. What's the matter? Why so quiet? Has it always been like this in the hospital? What do you mean? Well, I've only been here a few weeks and I fall into bed every night completely wiped out. Even now I can barely keep my eyes open. Hmm. I did my training at St. Ursula's right after school. I learned under Dr. Theobald. He wasn't even the chief of medicine back then. And our internal medicine department was upstairs on the fifth floor. Come to think of it, that was all quite a while ago. There, all, there is a ward on the 6th? There was. It was shut down at some point. Structural defects. Right. And was the work like this, like it is today? You don't have all this digital stuff. The doctors were always leaving their pens in rooms. 
I had a really big pen collection at home. <laughs> and it would still fit into a normal office chair. Ooh. But hey, the woman's awesome. Yeah, I like her too, kind of. But was it as stressful as it is today? Huh, hard to say. Like I said, it was quite a while ago. I remember I was always totally exhausted in my first few months. But that feeling went away at some point. I think it's just like long jogging. At some point you get past the point of exhaustion. Hmm. And you just keep running. I hate running. Me too. I hate running. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I have asthma as well. It makes it worse. How can anyone enjoy that? Not a clue. I bet Doctor likes to run. <laughs> that would explain a lot. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I gotta pee. Knock yourself out. Hurry up. I'm ready for another round. Okay, leave me alone. Is this Gilbert? Hey, Finley, my friend. Who stepped on your foot? Oh, Guilin. Oh, wow. Guiliano? Guiliano? Life. What's all this about? It's okay. Long story. I like long stories. And I also like my life. You know, we're lucky to have something like you can call a daily routine. What do you mean? I took out the trash today at noon. The garbage bag ripped and all the gunk ran out. Oh, down my pants. Oh, nasty. Yeah, true. But not bad either, right? I guess not. I count myself lucky that I have nothing worse to tell you. Profound thought, but it still challenges sometimes with a daily life like that. Anyways, nice thought. Yeah, it's true. Very true. There's a newspaper article on the wall. The Barzuka hangs up his gloves. Boxing fans around the world have been in tears this weekend as one of the most famous boxers of recent decades announced his retirement. In just seven years, the bazooka hit his way into the hearts of the public, and now he's leaving him bruised. The bazooka commented on his decision at a board game convention. I have achieved everything in my career that I wanted to achieve. I have fought for love and peace, in the rain, in the snow, and in the burning sun. Now it is time for me to face a longer and harder fight. That is why I am retiring. The exact reason for his retirement was not mentioned. In just 7 years, the com he competed in over 518 fights. 515 defeats. Okay, 2 victories by non-appearance of his opponent. And 1 victory by knockout when his opponent laughed so hard he couldn't continue fighting. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the bazooka was one of the worst boxers in history. <laughs> he was, however, revered by his fans and his competitors for his humorous <laughs> monologues. Wait a minute. The bazooka? Hmm. You don't think the bazooka was him, right? I think it was him, the bazooka. <laughs> that's too familiar. Okay, torch on that way. <laughs> I bet that's him. Giliano, I think his name is. Dark board. I want to play darts. Foggy flashbacks. Me too, I love playing darts. Even though I really hit, really hit anything. I don't think I've ever won a match. But it's definitely better than foosball. Mm. I hate foosball. Oh, that's cool. Like, the you got louder when you go next to it. Oh, that's cool. Wow, I love records, me too. Don't know why exactly. I barely ever listen to music, and when I do, it's digital. But the scratching and the noises kind of remind me of my grandpa. I love violence as well, like the scratchiness and the noisiness of it. Oh, the raw, just sound of the music, you know? It's crazy. Is that the toilet? It's upstairs. It's upstairs. Ooh, bookshelf. 
most people are older than me. Maybe older than Giuliano even. <laughs> but neatly sorted in alphabetical order. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, the toilet's there. Oh, look at that painting! <laughs> that polo? Looks like polo. Have you got a bedroom in here? It's like a, it's like a b and like a restaurant with a... Why do all bar restrooms smell like the artificial citrus scent? <laughs> I mean, sure, nobody likes the smell of urine, but do you have to cover it up with something even more unpleasant? <laughs> Whenever I smell the artificial lemon, it makes me wretch. Ah, whatever. Hold your now. Hold your now. Hold your nose and get through it. Whew, okay, done. Actually, can I see what's in the bedroom? I'm just curious. Is anyone actually in there? Gilbert's is not just the only bar, but also a motel in town. It's not exactly a tourist hotspot. Honestly, I've never ever seen a tourist in Porcupine. Maybe that's why there's only one room. Oh, okay. Sit down. I don't think my beard was empty when I left. Keep on looking. Uh, there you are. Yeah, yeah, keep them coming. The evening's only just begun. I hope Mia joins us. So Ursula has become an old lady. An old lady with her paint peeling off. Frustrating. I always wanted to be a good doctor, but I'm afraid the stress is too much for me. That'll, that I'll make mistakes, or just lose the meaning of my work. Baloney, you save lives each and every day. Name me one thing that's more important. The main thing is to keep going, kid. Bah. Uh, what? I think the kid's right. You guys and that dump of yours is falling apart. You can't get anything done over there. Shut your mouth, Ralph. Nah, nah. <laughs> now I'll tell you something. You come in here, complain about how hard your lives are. You should take a long, hard look at yourselves. Lazy, incompetent jerks that you are. You can't even keep an indoor <laughs> cactus alive. And you talk about car caring people for curing people of cancer. You couldn't save my wife either. Oh, I see. Now the truth comes out. And why? Because you all had nothing between your ears, that's why. If you were up to me, I'd burn the entire place down. Wow. I've been sitting here for... No idea what time it is. And I'm quicker witted than two of you put together. Oh yeah? And what makes you think that you all... That you all drunk? <laughs> I'll prove it. Bums. 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 Like we're playing bums. Now. Loser pays a tap. If you want to pay so bad, <laughs> be my guest. Wait a moment. What's bums? Kid, haven't you ever heard of a bar before? Been to a bar before. <laughs> hmm. Alright, listen up. In bums, we take it in turns to count from left to right one two three four and so on you can count can't you i think i can manage that good however you're not allowed to say the number if there's a three or a seven in it or if the number is divided by, by three or seven in that case you say bums and the direction we're counting reverses oh i see and if you count when it's not your turn you two, you lose two. Got it? Okay. Here we go. I'm not getting any younger. Go, I'll start. Uh oh. 
Okay. Go for nothing. No wonder the people of Porcupine don't want to be treated by you. Ha ha ha. Line up ten shots for me and my friends. Ten? So just for me. Uh, uh no, nah, let's just call it a day to be honest. <laughs> that blow hard beers. I have no idea. A moose shot. That but that beer tastes like crap now. Shall we call it a night? Yeah, let's get out of here. Gillian is it Giuliano? Giuliano? I'll pay the tab. Thanks, Carl. Wow. This game could be pretty... Uh-oh. Finley, good morning. Pina here. What are you up to, matey? What? Pina? Yeah. Are you driving through a tunnel or am I mumbling? Mumbling? What's wrong with you? Are you sick? Have you been infected by a deadly virus from the hospital? Do you have a disgusting rash on your belly? What? Show me. No, 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 I'm fine. I was drinking at Gilbert's last night. You drink? I had no idea. Clearly not often enough. <laughs> but I'm working the late shift today. Just so I can rest up. Blah, blah, blah. Let's do something. I already have an idea. Meet me at the marketplace. There's something I need to see to... I need to see to there? Oof, okay, give me 30 minutes. Don't keep me waiting. Looking forward to it. See ya! There are so many spelling mistakes in this game. Alright, here we go. Alright, let's go to the market then. Hello, Gilbert. <laughs> Fresh from all waffles. I love me some waffles. Oh, that's cool. Ah, oh, sounds so cool this game. <laughs> Hi, friend. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Keep playing. I like your music. It's all good. I hit pause on my guitar. I'll continue playing. Your guitar has a pause button? Sure. Everything has a pause button. If you think about it, you just have to find it. Hmm. That's deep, actually. You're not from Porcupine, are you? Nah, I'm just visiting. I'm performing at your hibernation festival, and I thought I'd check the place out. It's going to get colder soon, and it's supposed to rain today. Looks like that's it from for the summer this year. But you can't celebrate a hibernation festival in summer, can you? I'll be there for sure. It's my first hibernation festival. Of course, you'll be there. I want to see you in the front row. Have a good one. See ya. Oh, who's that? A little stone plaque there. Linoslav Hernaratos, founder of Porcupine, it says. Oh, okay. That's the stage for the hibernation festival? Oh. Wow, that bucket of bolts has seen better days. <laughs> it smells like cigarettes. Oh, the key's in that. Uh, no. <laughs> Where's the market? I don't want to go in it, I want to... Uh, okay... Is that you? Oh, there you are. Where have you been? Hi, Pina. I'm glad to see you too. You look tired. You okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Got some at the hospital right now. And... Gilbert's <laughs> gooseberry beer is really tasty. My head is pounding. You just can't take anything. 
Uh, we talked ourselves into a frenzy. Had to lay off some steam. And then there was this guy too. Some old <laughs> salpers complained about us in the hospital. A mood hit rock bottom. That old geezer was his name, Ralph? Yeah, that's right, Ralph. Colliery knew him too. Everybody knows Ralph. He's actually a nice guy, but every now and then he lets his frustration get the better of him. Don't worry about him. I think the matter is already forgotten. Didn't you say we were going to something? Yeah, sure. And what's that? We're going to for a ride? Why did I have to come to the marketplace then? Couldn't have picked me up? Who do you think I am? I have to work after all. Unlike you, lazy bones. <laughs> I thought a little work a little walk wouldn't do any, any harm. Well then, shall we? Yeah, sure. Hooray, let's go. I love the sounds of this game. We're gonna walk from here. Where are we? This is the Glow Milk Woods. I like to come here when I'm stressed and in need of fresh air. And you seem stressed lately. Oh, you seem pretty stressed lately. I thought you could use a walk. Oh, that's such nice. That's so nice. I seem stressed? Yep. Here we go. You're gonna love it. He's such a nice friend. Or she's such a nice friend? I don't know. Aww. Everyone needs a friend like that, you know? You're just stressed out and you don't tell them you're stressed out, but they can see you're stressed out and they just, you know, take you to a movie or take you for a walk. Like, it's just a nice thing to do for someone. Or even a family member could do that, you know? stronghold here a few centuries ago. Even before Porcupine was founded, there was a village right at the top of the roof of this forest, but the forest. And here in the forest there lived a count of king or whatever. I mostly skipped history. <laughs> I see. And that's it? Hey, don't say anything against hearing stones. <laughs> I always kept a piece of rose quartz out of my pillow when I was a kid. And did it help? No idea, but it looked nice. <laughs> no, but back then, the count or the king or whatever actually lost something here. A little golden statue. I heard that the statue worked like a divining rod. No, not water, but treasure. It attracts treasure. The statue had been lost ever since, and is said to have been lying around somewhere still. No one's been able to find the statue, but they say that anyone goes looking for it will be rewarded with their own treasure. How ironic. Hey, don't make fun. I used to climb around here a lot when I was a kid and found lots of treasure. And now it's your turn. Oh! You could use some treasure today, so go on, get such a... Do I have to? We're not leaving here until you find your treasure. <laughs> Alright. Yes, I know, I'll find a treasure. Let's do it. Can I go here? Oh, we can. Well, 
Are you happy, Dr. Jones? Hmm, I don't know. I just found this old stick. That's perfect. Really? It's just a dried up old stick. They're all over the place here. But this stick comes from the magical ruin. That means the stick is magic too. Your own magic stick. I'm quite jealous. So does that count? Absolutely. Come on, let's go and take good care of your magic stick. Aww. Like childhood friends. It's so cool. It's funny, as adults we forget to do this, like, play and have fun, you know? Like, we're so put up in work and our lives and stuff, we forget to have fun. We just go for a walk in the forest. <laughs> this is actually crazy. Out of breath already? Well then, let's go. We're almost there now. Alright. really nice here. But even though the town is so small, I still haven't gotten my bearings. It's unfamiliar. Why are you still here? Well, I grew up here. I was even born in St. Ursus. Oh, really? Yeah, so is everyone else here in Porcupine? I kind of never thought about that before. There's a part of me that longs to get away. To the big city or to another country far away. But another part of me keeps me here. I like the small alleys and narrow streets. I like the people here. And of course, I like my stores. <laughs> my store. I feel like I can make a difference here. I always realise that at this time of year, especially when the hibernation festival is coming up. I've heard about that. That's why you were at the marketplace, right? The hibernation festival. The Hibernation Festival is the best time of year for me. There's drinks, live bands, dancing all night long, and of course, the big stew contest. Everyone comes together again, before the cold season hits. Hmm. What is it? I hope I can make a difference here too. Well, of course, Finley, look at you. You're a doctor. Sure, but it's not easy either. Nobody said it was. You can also make small things happen. For example? For example? Do you still have your magic stick? Whoa. See? What's that? That's your monument. The people of Porcupine will be craning their necks to with to gaze upon this mighty effigy. Who was this Finley? How did he make it all the way up there? And was Pina Sen, Tree Master and Queen of Plants, really as hot as they say she was? <laughs> That's what they'll be wondering. They'll sing ballads about us in the taverns. The children will reenact your adventures in the streets. You'll see. Sounds like a plan. Thanks. Don't mention it, Finley. It's your turn. Make it happen, my shift. <laughs> we should get going. My shift's about to start. Okay, fine. My elf's getting tired too. I can give you a ride. Thanks. So thank you for everything. Or oh, you'll have to walk. <laughs> Got it. I won't thank you for the ride. So no thanks. It was my pleasure. <laughs> Please don't ever call me again. That trip was really lousy. <laughs> you ruined my entire day. Don't worry, I'm glad he'd never take you away ever again. I really hope you don't. <laughs> and it's raining. 
Oh, just in time. It wouldn't got soaked out there. Are you made of sugar? <laughs> Cut the plants. They need something to drink too. The summer was extremely dry. Yes, you're right. You don't mind the rain? Not at all. I love the rain. I'm the exact opposite. I better get going inside. I got my ass kicked yesterday because I was late. You go ahead, I'll stay here a little longer and enjoy the rain. Don't let him get to you. Never. Oh, wrong way. Oh. Is graffiti on it now? Who graffiti's on a hospital? That's just rude. But graffiti is rude. Period, so. Do you work here? I've just started, but at least I can get where. What? I've just started, but at least I get to wear scrubs already. Wisecracker. I've been waiting half an hour. I need to talk to the chief of medicine. Do you know where he is? No, sorry. Dr. Theobald is always very busy. I myself have only met him during the chief of medicine's rounds. I've been staying around here forever, and the first person I run into is this rookie. Oh. Rude. Is there anything I can do to help you? No, not unless you get promoted to chief of medicine today. Okay, wow, moody. Hi. Well, little one, how's life out there? Haven't seen you around for some time. I was about to call the cops. I work in the late shift today. And you thought you spend your day taking a shower with your clothes on. It's raining. Rain, huh? Heard of it before, but haven't seen any in a long time. You seem to get around a lot, kid. Anyways. Dr. Ori waiting for you upstairs. She wants to talk to you again before she hands over your shift for today. I think she's keeping an eye on me. You can be sure of that. But you're not the only one. Make a little effort and impress her. Okay. Then she can relax a little bit as well. Yeah, makes sense. Wait, is the elevator working? Oh, it's working! Nice! Yeah, nice. It's working. Finley, there you are! I wanted to talk to you before your shift. What's up, Doctor? You're the new guy here at St. Ursula's. You have a lot to learn. I hope you realise that yourself. This hospital can't afford any mistakes, so you mustn't disappoint me. I want to be able to rely on you. Agreed. I always do my best. Good. You have the opportunity to prove that to me tonight already. I have to go to the main meeting. That means you're on your own today. Oh boy. I'll talk to you in the morning. Don't screw things up. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Schedule updated. Same thing. 301, 302, and P31. Good evening. How are you today? I'm feeling a little better. Your colleagues have been taking good care of me. I'm glad to hear that. And the pain? Still there, but at least I've managed to turn myself over in the meantime. It opens a whole new world, I tell you. Yes, pain sometimes shows us how good we actually have it without it. Wise words. Very true. What do you think? Look outside. It's raining cats and dogs. That's right, fantastic, isn't it? You think so? Yes, there's been so little rain these last few weeks. I bet it's not just the plants that are happy to have a little water. You're not wrong there. I'll have to take another look at your shingles. Of course. I feel fine, but I've gotten up in two I haven't gotten up in two days either. So it probably won't hurt. Here we go.
That wasn't so hard. <laughs> there you go, you're on the road to recovery. Nevertheless, I'm afraid you'll have to stay here for a few more days. Shingles are not to be trifled with. But it sounds nice. It reminds me of Christmas. Shingles? Why? Don't know, I guess shingle bells were the first thing that came to mind. <laughs> Keep rusting up. Have a great day. Oh, Mrs. Amit, I think. Good evening, Mrs. Amit. Not a good evening at all. I'm miserable as hell. I'm in a lot of pain. And nauseous too. I guess we'll have to increase the dose of your painkillers after all. Can you up it quickly, please? I'm really not well. Okay, I'll talk to the nurses right away. But let's not overdo, n let's not overdo it. I'll change your dressing for now. Go ahead, I'll just picture some place nice. <laughs> oh my goodness, those combinations are crazy. Okay, done. Now could you please tell the nurses? I've already put it in your file. They'll be taken care of. Ouch. Oh man. Oh, Carl, let's see what, how Carl's doing. Carl, how are you? Same as always? Why are you asking? Recover from last night? From Ralph? I had to think about what he said. Forget it, you're doing a great job here. Don't listen to the others. Okay, have a relaxed shift, Carl. Funny, but thanks. <laughs> <sighs> Mrs. Delwyn. Oh, Doctor. I've already forgotten that it's raining outside. I'm glad to see you too. Was your pu pudding hunt successful? I'm afraid not. But you know, another day, another pudding. I'll keep my fingers crossed. What can I do for you today? I'd like to discuss the results of yesterday's blood test with you. Sounds great. Your blood sugar levels are abnormal. Nothing alarming yet, but let's find out what's wrong with you. Gladly, I'm prepared for anything. Okay, let's do this again. None of them are right? Oh my gosh. Seriously?
Nice. Okay, I now know what's wrong with you. I'm afraid you're suffering from a form of diabetes. Diabetes? Is that serious? Diabetes is not a rare disease. There are many treatments available now. I think you can go home tomorrow. But you have to tr be treated with medication as soon as possible. That'll keep your blood sugar level stable. And the discomfort will go away. And the blueberry pudding? I'm afraid you'll have to be a little more careful with those in the future. But since your blood sugar is too low right now, you'll get two today. Okay, that does sound better. Thank you. You'll be back on your feet soon, I promise. Aww. Such a hard job, man. Like, diagnosing people and telling them what's wrong with them. Having people cuss you for absolutely no reason. <laughs> and then have to do it all over again. Not getting enough sleep and low pain. Finley, there's a problem. What's up? Mr. Andes? Mr. Andes is up. What do you mean? No, Mr. Andes is up and gone. Is he a patient? Yes, now focus. He was lying in his bed just now. I am left for a moment. And then he was gone. Do you have any idea where he could be? Maybe he just went to the bathroom. Well, that's the first place I looked, of course. The man is old and suffering from dementia. Oh, no. He shouldn't be running around here all alone. I've already searched the whole ground floor. No trace of him. I'll help you. We'll find him. Great. Mia is all... Great. Mia is already on the lookout too. Oh man. If Doctor finds out, I'll be head sh Sure. I don't know what that said. Okay. Uh... With the froth of milk. A little sugar. I dream of you every night. <laughs> Okay, let's try and find him then. Uh, I don't know, where, where would I find him? In a random hallway somewhere? Let's go upstairs I guess. moment I thought the elevator was going to come crashing down. Why it stopped here? Is that the fifth floor ward? Carl told something about it. Hmm. The door looks like it used to be blocked. Maybe the patient ended up here too. I'll have to check. Oh this is spooky. Oh, this is creepy. Bathroom. Five by one, five by two. These notes have been here for a while. Is he dead? Need to get him out of here quickly. 
What the hell? Hello? Is someone there? <gasps> Ooh. Finley. What a way to end the demo! <laughs> oh my gosh! Bunchbeck Games? Is that? Story designed by Sebastian Hess. Creative producer Florin Costa. Programming by Christian Dalish. Programming by Raviv Elon. Wow, that was honestly I needed that game today because I was well, basically I was supposed to be buying and playing other games, but they were way too buggy. And I'm very glad I played this game. Wow, I was not expecting that. I was expecting to just play, you know, a game based on school. I didn't <laughs> think it was going to be a murder mystery. <laughs> drama kind of thing um, yeah the game's pretty cool that like, you could feel how intense it is working in the hospital but at the same time the atmosphere is kind of like um, not relaxing but kind of it makes it manageable kind of um, I do love games where you get to know the characters and understand them and there's more layers to them obviously like with Ralph in the bar he's angry he's frustrated that his wife died of cancer you know and he feels like the hospital didn't do anything and then you have Finley and Mia who are just there, you know, they're new people, you know, they're new positions at the hospital, they're learning stuff and they're still being shouted at, so it's a whole different kind of thing. And then you have Pina, Finley's um, friend, who's helping him through it, you know, he's in a new hospital, in a new place he's never been to before, and then she's helping him through it. Um, there's lots of different levels to the characters, and I love character development in video games, and this is... I love this game. The art style is absolutely beautiful. It's, like it's hand painted, hand um, drawn. Um, yeah, I think all these people should be very proud of themselves. There are a few bugs I'm going to report on the Steam um, discussion forums, but apart from that, I am looking forward to, to the full version of this game. Um, I will keep you updated on either Twitter and my YouTube community tab. And uh, yeah, I highly recommend this demo if you're looking for something relaxing, a little bit of a challenge good character development and good art style, I highly recommend this game. Thank you for following Finley's story this far, his journey will continue soon with some exciting news. Please add full porcupine to your wish list, it really does mean a lot to us. Sincerely, the whole team at... okay. <laughs> I could read it fast enough. I love the music, man. Okay, there we go, the fall of porcupine. All information will be down in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching and peace out.